Hey guys, welcome to this week's episode. And we have an amazing guest. Her name's Kimmy Bohanahan. Is that right? Did I say that right? Perfect. You got it. Okay, good. And she owns the weekly juicery. And today our topic is how to do intermittent fasting with combining juicing so that you can get digestive rest. And we're also going to be talking about the guided extended fast. So thank you for having talking about a lot today. So welcome, Kimmy. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. So tell us a little bit, how did you get so passionate about juicing and how did the weekly juicery kind of get started? Um, Well, thank you again for having me. I love talking about juice and believe it or not, I've been making juice now for about seven years. So it's been quite a journey. I started this company in my kitchen, actually making juice in my kitchen, the whole thing, because I felt as I was growing older, I was not feeling better. I was experiencing, you know, somewhat of a decline. I had lots of fatigue. I was tired. Sort of that experience, if you've ever heard, kind of like aging in dog years. I just felt like I was, um, shouldn't be as tired as I am and just didn't have this like really kind of youthful countenance. And I thought, wow, I'm way too young for this. And so I started doing a little research about juice and bought a book, uh, Natalia Rose, Detox for Women. Um, if you're looking for a great resource, I love her work. And uh, started making juice. And within 30 days, uh, I felt like a new person. And I said, holy moly, this is crazy. Remember that was way back in 2012, say, so not juice available like there is today. There's really, you didn't, you couldn't find juice in grocery stores. You couldn't find juice bars or really none of those, maybe a couple in New York, a couple in California, but certainly not as they are today. And I said, wow, I need to share this with other people. So Um, I sort of, my deal was I'll make juice for you. You have to subscribe Monday through Friday. You can't give me any specifications because I only made vegetable juice, no fruit. That's super key. You guys, you want to make sure your juice is mostly vegetables next to no fruit. And I delivered it to people's doorsteps. And within 90 days, I had 80 customers. So that's the way we started. I sent them a little note every week that told them what they're drinking and why. Yeah. And the weekly juicery took life. And that's really why the company's named the weekly juicery because I didn't make juice on the weekend. So crazy how that goes. But um, yeah, still today. Now we have retail locations. We ship juice all over the country, as you said, really designed for a day of digestive rest or fasting and uh, even do some extended guided fast, which we can talk about. Awesome. And I love what you just said, because I feel like one of the things that is so powerful, I am a big fan of vegetable juicing. I'm not a huge fan of fruit juicing. And just because, you know, having all of that fruit without that fiber into it is just, it's just too much on your insulin. I mean, you're spiking your insulin levels. You could have, you know, 20 ounces of orange juice And that's a massive amount of of sugar that you're putting into your body. So talk about that a little bit more. Yes, that's that's a really good point. And um, juice has an incredible power. And it has, in my opinion, an incredible power up or boost up for us in a fasted state. Um, We talked a little bit earlier before we jumped on about intermittent fasting and you said, you know, do you do intermittent fasting? And my answer was, yes, I've been doing it so long um, that it was not even called that. Uh, The experience that I did sort of juice till dinner, which really is um, in such a way, just an intermittent fasting schedule. So, you know, juice has an incredible power. What's happened, unfortunately, to um, this industry, which has so much power to support people um, on their health journey, the quality of juice available has degraded to such a point that it's really no longer has a place in our health journey. And I hate to say that, but it's actually true because um, many juice companies don't understand how to make juice for fasting. And they really came into the work um, sort of on the, on the coattails of the sort of like healthy trend versus coming into the work from a place of how to use juice in fasting. And so that's, that's something we really have to be careful of is making sure that one, your juice has tons of plants, especially if you're going to use it in fasting, 
Two, making sure that your juice doesn't and hasn't been diluted with water. And three, making sure that the ingredients are certified organic. All of those three things are super, super important. If yeah, that, if that's you're great. For fasting, because then the example you use, um, many companies want their product to taste amazing. And, and to do that, um, you have to add a considerable amount of fruit. Mostly, you'll find in the juice business that people add apple. And I'm not an apple hater and I'm not a fruit hater. Um, I probably have a piece of fruit every day, uh, certainly seasonal fruit. So it's not that. It's just just as you described, we don't want to be drinking fruit inside of our juice. We want to be enjoying an apple and not drinking an apple. So um, it's okay to have a small amount of fruit, but you want to make sure that most, most of your juice is vegetable centric. Mm. Yeah, 20 um, twenty ounces of orange juice has 42 grams of sugar. It's too much, yes. It's just like, that's just too much. So yeah, talk about, about the different types of juices you have and what is your favorite juice? Like what's your favorite combination if someone wanted to just make their juice at, at their house? What would yeah. be like your number one favorite juice? Um, we have several juices of our menu. We have a rotating menu every month because it is also important to drink juice that is seasonal. So as an example, if you did our guided fast in February, that juice lineup is going to look completely different than you doing it in July. And so Mm -hmm. there's change. Um, Their exception to that is our extended guided fast because in that long fasting period, we want to keep our we want to have only green juice. And I can talk about that a little bit later. Uh, My favorite juice, um, it is our number one bestseller and has been every year since we started, is called Green Lemonade. It's a whole head of romaine, 12 stalks of kale, a cucumber, a lemon, and an inch of fresh ginger. And notice that there's no fruit included in that juice. And of our roughly 16 to 18 juices that we offer, half of them have no fruit at all. Uh, the other half have a modest amount of fruit. And then we have a couple of juices that have a little more fruit than than I would like, but those are designed just to bring people into our work. And so with yours, with, with when you have your juices, so if you buy like a monthly package where it's like $99, yeah. how much juice does someone get? Yeah, so we do um, every month, basically at any time. Um, you guys could do our guided fast. It's a one day fast. We ship six juices right to your door. They, um, you know, that's going to include about 20 to 24 pounds just to give you kind of a conversion of organic produce. So in one day of our juice, our guided fast, you're going to drink 20 to 24 pounds of organic produce. That is more produce than your body could possibly eat um, in a given day. So it's sort of like giving your body that day of digestive rest, aka fasting, flooding it with 24 pounds of organic plants. And that to me is the ultimate power punch um, to kind of grow younger, right? And sort of have this experience of teaching our brain to crave more fruits and vegetables. So um, we would send six juices right to your doorstep. You'll get a guided video from me on how to enter the fast how to complete the fast and how to exit the fast. Or we, to your point, run a monthly program called the Juice Ritual, which is we have about 300 people around the country. We all do the one day fast all together every single month, the first Thursday of every month. So the first Thursday in March, the first Thursday in April, the first Thursday in May. We have people that have done it for over a year straight, which is amazing. If you stayed in the juice ritual with us, it's designed to be a yearly program. If you stayed in the juice ritual over the course of the year, you would accumulate 244 fasting hours. You know how important that is. This is an intermittent fasting podcast. Um, And you would consume over 200 pounds of organic plants Mm -hmm. in the easiest assimilated form for your liver. So it really is, um, it's, it's a huge power punch. I don't know about you guys, but I've been doing a ton of cooking lately. And I've been having so many new recipes. Go to ChantelRayWay.com slash free recipes to get the best kale dressing recipe you'll ever have. The dairy-free artichoke dip that you will love for completely free. I also want to give you my entire free smoothie book that has the best smoothies. One of the things that can help you lose weight is just to replace one of your meals with an amazing smoothie. So if you're eating two meals, just make one of them a smoothie. You can get my free amazing recipe book at chantelrayway.com slash free recipe. And our protein shakes are amazing as well. And right now they're 30% off. Go to chantelrayway.com, click on store and use podcast 
for the 30% off your protein shake. Mm, That is awesome. So what would be the second favorite? So do you get to, do you just like, if you, you said that one, the lemonade one, what was it called again? Lemonade. Okay. So if that one was the favorite, do you get that each time or you may not get that? Maybe not. That one is a juice that I almost include every time because all of us at every point need to be drinking what I call liquid sunshine. We need, um, we need to continually cultivating, uh, we need to be continually cultivating that gut uh, bacteria uh, that I call kind of like our, our star players, which are those bacteria that are anti-obesogenic. They tell our brain to want more vegetables and more plants and not crave sugar and processed food. So green lemonade is almost always, or a, or a similar green juice in our lineup. Uh, I typically switch around the beet juice and you know we'll switch around kind of the seasonal fun one so that there's one that tastes you know sort of amazing. But I always do remind people, it's my job to make juice for you that really does change and up-level your health journey. Not necessarily a juice that tastes amazing, even though I think they all taste amazing. But you know, sometimes it's a little bit of learning to really appreciate um, you know, the flavors of drinking plants. Well, and the price of the juice that you guys have is really reasonable because I know we have a juice place that's near us and the juice is about like they're anywhere from, you know, 10 to $16, depending on which juice you have. So what does the price come out to on yours? Yeah, it's about, um, we charge $99 and that includes um, all the guidance that you get with the fast. Um, And so that would be divided by six juices. um, And that also includes uh, your shipping. So I don't know, I have to do the math, but around 11, $12, I would say for juice. Um, And again, the key is, you know, the key for me is helping people understand how to use juice and fasting, especially if somebody listening is new to intermittent fasting and they're not exactly sure how to begin. Juice is such a huge asset. I kind of call it like the magic bullet for your toolkit uh, because, you know, high quality vegetable juice can extend your fast a little bit and get you used to this idea of maybe not having three meals in such a long spread out window, but kind of compressing that together. And that's really the way that I started doing it a long ago under Natalia Rosa, sort of like a juice until dinner. So I have um, sort of in my daily routine, I have juice around 10 and generally a juice around noon. And then I break my fast around two. So I can extend that fasting period because my body is completely nourished with, you know, lots of organic produce and I have lots of energy and I feel amazing. Mm, I love that. So let's talk about like two things. One, what would be a great window for someone if they, let's say somebody wanted to do a lot of our listeners, um, you know, they've kind of reported back that they do a six hour window. And I think it's because I'm, I do a six hour window and I'm so big on, you know, I've said it before that for when I do an eight hour window, I'm not losing any weight. So for me, six hours is really the amount of time that I need to be eating in. So would you say like, what would be a typical thing? Like maybe they would have at 12 o'clock, have their juice, and then maybe at 530 eat dinner or what? What would be some nice combinations? Yeah, that's a great question. So, you know, if let's assume you order our one day guided fast, it comes right to your doorstep with the cooler bag. It'll have six juices. For many people who are new to this work, doing a complete 24 over 24 hours of fasting would be too much. That's the design of the program and something that I love everybody to work up to, meaning you would just have the six juices throughout the day sleep through the night and then break your fast the next morning at say 10 or 11 a.m. because that's a long period of digestive rest. And again, you're flooding your body with 20 to 24 pounds of organic plants. However, for many people who are new to this work or new to doing a little longer fast, maybe 24 hours, it's it's a super long for somebody new. What I recommend that they do is they have three juices one day and then a great plant-based dinner and then three juices the next day and a great plant-based dinner. 
I've even had people that begin at a, at a kind of an even slower pace, which is two juices, a plant-based snack and a great dinner, two juices, a plant-based snack and a great dinner. And then on day three, two juices, a plant-based snack and a great dinner. So you could do it all in one day, which is the design of the program or break it into two days or break it into three days. I even have some people who um, do the juice ritual. They love our juice. So they have me ship them another box of six juices throughout the month. And they just enjoy one juice every day as a way to extend that, that fasting window a little further. So for example, they might order six green lemonade and use that as support for their fast. So how long does the juice last? Cause that's always been a concern for me. Cause I do know that, you know, when you are, are juicing something, obviously the sooner that you can tr- drink that, the better. So how does that work with yours? That like is- from literally from the time I'd love to know, like, okay, we're making your juice. Then from the time that it actually ships, how is it packed to make sure that it stays? And right. then how long do I have to actually drink it? That's a great question. So um, the best, and you actually hit the nail on the head. You actually answered it yourself. The very best, most potent uh, experience that you or me or anyone could ever have is making juice yourself at home on your juice machine and drinking it instantly. That is the best, most alive experience that we could ever have. We um, also, for all you guys who are listening, uh, we're going to connect together. And when it's ready, I'll make sure and send it to you guys. We are almost done with our juice book, which tells you exactly what juice machine to buy at home. And we're going to give, we're going to include all of our juice recipes. So it will be for sale for, I think it's $19. You can have all the info you need um, to actually do it at home. I will tell mm. you, making juice at home is not is a nightmare. It's a nightmare. I wasn't going to say that. It doesn't mean <laughs> that you cannot do it. It means that it's a nightmare. <laughs> so, so I don't want to be like the bearer of all bad news, right? But making juice at home is really hard. Making juice well at home is really hard. So what I make for you is the next best, safest option. So what we do is we treat our juice with 10 seconds of cold pressure. So after we make and bottle the juice, it goes through a second generation high pressure processing machine, happens after the juice is bottled. It gets put into a chamber, icy cold water, and they apply pressure to the drum. And that gives the bacteria in the juice, doesn't destroy it. It gives it sort of like a punch, like a just sort of a punch to the gut. And what that does is it allows the juice to be shelf stable for 30 days without destroying all the enzymes and vital nutrients that we need. It also doesn't completely eradicate the bacteria. The earliest generation HPP machines used hot oil in the drum and it really created a product that I didn't think was super vibrant. Now, when we're doing it with super ice cold water, you can see under a microscope, I've looked at it, the bacteria stay alive. They just can't grow out of control. For example, during shipping or transit. Um, So that's really, really important. And it's the safest way that I can make this available to juice to people all around Um, because most people won't do it at home. So I um, I actually think that making it at home, as I said, is your best option, but I make the best juice that you can find hands down. Uh, I would put our juice to any competitor anywhere. Um, It's the best juice that you can find, the highest quality uh, second to you making at home. Hey guys, I wanted to tell you I'm offering a free weight loss virtual Bible study. Now is the perfect time to focus on understanding true hunger and fullness and learn what the Bible has to say about it. All you have to do is go to chantelrayway.com slash Bible study. After you sign up, you'll receive a six week Bible study video that you can watch on your own, or you can get a small group of people and do it together. That's chantelrayway.com slash Bible study for your free six week Bible study course. Mm. All right. Well, I want to talk about digestive rest for just a second, because obviously your digestive system needs rest. I mean, our digestive system is very busy and hardworking and people don't realize how much 
energy it requires for your body to digest food. And it can drain the energy needed for healing, repair, and general maintenance of your body. And so you need to give your digestive system a vacation, just like you need a lot of mini vacations as well. So talk about how, like, how does juicing allow yourself to get that digestive rest without doing that full fast? Got it. So that's a great question. So juice, when it is uh, super high quality, and I'll keep saying that, but the the quality of product that you buy is is incredibly, it is very important. You want the return on your juice investment, the ROI, to, to sort of be magnified, right? And in order to do that, you do have to make sure that you are getting juice that is vegetable centric, includes mostly plants and is organic. Otherwise, you are not going to be able to use juice in the way that I'm going to describe. So take green lemonade as an example. Green lemonade is 12 stalks of kale, a whole head of romaine, one cucumber, one um, slice of ginger, and one lemon. No fruit included, right? So we have super low sugar, low carbohydrate situation because there's no fruit included. And the juice has the viscosity of water. So your body can can take in, in a fasted state, can take in the vegetable juice, right? But it doesn't have to spend an overload of energy digesting it because it is so easily assimilated by the liver and used by the body, right? As an example, if we didn't choose a juice that was certified organic, then our liver would be asked to filter through all the toxins of the pesticide in the juice, thereby really rendering that ROI in the negative, in my opinion. Um, So very, very important. If you're going to drink juice, uh, make certain that it is certified organic and has a seal. Secondly, make sure that your juice is vegetable centric if you want to use it in fasting, because what you don't want, let's take your example of 16 ounces of orange juice. When that juice comes into your body, your body experiences an insulin spike, right? Because all that sugar is coming into your body, but there's no fiber with the with the fruit to help your body, you know, process it effectively. So, so that would be a situation where we're not able to stay at digestive rest. If we drink vegetable centric juice, our body doesn't experience that huge spike in insulin. It can remain at digestive rest and and still be nourished with nature's perfect fuel source. Mm, I love that. And I've read studies that an estimated 65% of the body's energy is consumed by digestion after you're eating. So meaning like I've just stopped, I've just started eating or I just stopped eating and now my body needs to, to go ahead and start taking its energy and digesting. Now 65% of your body's energy is moving towards digesting that food. So if you're doing that every time you're eating and, you know, the food industry promotes breakfast, lunch, and dinner with, you know, with tons of snacks and it's just, your body is just on overload. It's true. It it is very true. And once you get used to the idea of um, really narrowing that a window of time where we're sort of open for eating, as I call it, um, sort of our eating window. Once you get used to a slower or a shorter eating window, when you don't follow that pattern or that rhythm, then your body is completely out of harmony. It just doesn't, I feel so tired and sluggish because my body is used to a, a short opening window for eating and two, being nourished with nature's perfect fuel source on the regular. And that is how you grow younger. And when I say grow younger, I mean, that's how your face just naturally glows without makeup. That's how when you're on 47, when you're 47, you have a very youthful countenance. That's how you have very sort of light in your step. You don't have that kind of like tube around your middle uh, because you're, you're nourishing your body with nature's perfect fuel source that's so easily assimilated by the liver all the time. I kind of call it getting the juice glow because you know when people have it. Mm, yeah. Um, I went on a eight day fast one time. I did four of those days with nothing but water. And then okay. the next the next four days, I just did green juice. So I did like celery, lettuce, kale. I'm telling you right now, my face looked like a supermodel. I mean, it was flawless. It was just 
absolutely flawless. That's what happens. I say all the time, um, you get the juice glow. We actually have a customer who uh, she drinks juice on the regular and she spends the winter in Palm Springs and the and she spends the summer in Lexington. And so I live in Lexington, Kentucky. And so I see her in Lexington. She said, Kimmy, all of my friends in Palm Springs, the, the, after they saw me after the summer of drinking your juice all summer, they said, oh my gosh, what did you do? You look so amazing. She's in her 70s. And she said, they just tell me that my skin glows. And I said, yes, that's exactly right. Your eyes just have a vibrancy and lightness about them. Um, it's the juice glow. It works. Mm. Um, it works regardless of, of your age. And it really also improves and we haven't really touched on this, uh, but I do believe that intermittent fasting and I certainly believe uh, flooding your body with plants by way of juice. I kind of call it that magic bullet combo really increases your mood. I believe it really up levels your emotional frequency so that you can operate on a little higher level. And that, and that's sort of somewhat of a deep concept, but the juice actually has a charge. It has a frequency. It's alive. It's vibrant. And when we put that into our body, our body kind of responds and up levels its frequency. And then kind of converse that or sort of think about now eating a handful of pretzels, which is totally dead, has no frequency at all. And so we're putting that into our body and that sort of lowers our frequency. So you can see how when we're kind of flooding our body with this perfect fuel source, even our emotional body and our energetic body gets uplifted. Mm, I love that. Now, when is your book going to be out for it the... Will be done. It's with the designer right now. And I would imagine we'll have that within the month. Awesome. That's so I'll, be ha- I'll make exciting. sure I'll make myself a note to send you the link. So if you want to offer it to your folks. Um, Absolutely. And home. everyone can go to chantelrayway.com slash juice and yeah. enroll in getting your juice delivered. Cause this yeah. is like you said, like, yeah, it's great if you can make it at home, but it's just a nightmare. And the chance that you're going to do it every day, instead of just ordering it, have it done. And the truth is, if your juices are anywhere from 11 to $12, when I'm making juice at home it, and I'm buying all my organic ingredients, my juice I've estimated, it's costing me anywhere from 16 to $20 yes. just to make it myself. Yes. So for me to try to make it myself for 16 to $20, if I can buy it from you for 11 to $12 and not having to have the hassle of making it and doing all that, that's a no brainer. Well, and you would spend more than that likely if you were going to get a salad that had that much organic produce on it and try and eat it for lunch, you would spend at least that much. So um, it's it's kind of amazing when you think about just the, the power of how much 24 pounds of organic plants really is. It's, it's amazing. And that kind of like overload of plants into the system, again, in the easiest assimilated form by the liver. And that's a thing that people often miss about juice. They don't really understand the mechanics of why we would do it. But but knowing that your liver literally can be on vacation and that organ is responsible for all the filtration in the body, right? Moving toxins out of the body, giving it that break and having this easily assimilated fuel source is amazing. It is, it's the magic bullet. Well, like, here's a perfect example. I just went to Whole Foods today and the lemons were 99 cents per organic lemon. I was like, that is ridiculous. So like, let's talk about your green lemonade. How much produce, break that down into one drink. How much is in that drink? And we can estimate if you, if you did not 99 cents a lemon, like how much, how many lemons are in your green lemonade? There's an entire head of romaine lettuce, not one bottle. So a whole head of romaine. There's 12 to 14 stalks of kale, just depending on how big the bundle is. That would be two to three bundles from Whole Foods. And so that big- right there, so that the head of the head of romaine would probably be a dollar. We're gonna just map this out because this yeah. is because this I'm gonna get my calculator because the the head of romaine is about uh, I would say two dollars. Okay. Depending on, uh, it, it usually ranges between two and four. So we could go 250 on the average. Okay. So we'll do two. So I'll do 250 for the, for mm-hmm. the romaine, then yeah. 12 stocks of kale. So right, what would be three bunches from Whole Foods? Which wouldn't that be like 
probably about $2 per bunch. They would, it depends, you know, produce is on a flow. So it depends on the organic farms and availability. I would say the kale is around $3, um, three to three fifty. So we could go $9 for the kale. Okay. So we're going to do $9. We're already at 11 50. How many lemons? The lemon, there's one whole lemon and it's a big one. So well, I already told you it was the organic lemon was 99 cents. So that's a dollar. Yeah. And then the real zinger is finding organic ginger. That's the key. If you've ever, uh, Whole Foods doesn't often have organic ginger. And if they do, it is pricey. So um, it would be, we could probably say a dollar for that as well. Because there's about okay. a of fresh ginger that's pressed. Okay. So there you have it. That's one bottle of green lemonade. Okay. I, I'm... My calculator messed up. <laughs> okay, you can kind of do it in our head. So nine for the kale, uh, 10, 11, 50 for the romaine, a dollar for the lemon, there's 12, 50, and probably a dollar, 13, 50. Right. Um, and that's none of your time included to go and shop for right. all this, clean up your to juice. Get it all done. Um, and, you know, I don't want to be totally discouraging though. I mean, we have uh, customers that are, you know, that we've, that we've, we've helped make juice. And so, what I love or what I would love for lots of you guys to consider is really taking on this possibility of getting a juice machine and once or twice a month making juice for yourself at home, right? Mm -hmm. It's kind of like cooking your meals at home. And then once a month, order juice for me or join the juice ritual. Mm -hmm. Kind of walking through some, uh, some tips and tricks to make green smoothies at home and to make juice at home. Uh, because each month in the juice ritual, we do kind of a training session. So, um, you know, or join the juice ritual. It's kind of like juicing out. Once a month, juice is going to come to your door. Um, and then the other couple times a month, you know, if, if you need to make it yourself, then make that commitment to do it. That's what I would love for people to do because mm -hmm. it really is a magic bullet for your health journey. Um, I cannot say that enough. And I think once you get going, you will not be able to stop. It is, you just mm -hmm. it's so good. Hey guys, I want to tell you about a great product that you absolutely cannot live without, and it's called Digest Aid. When you're stressed, you might not be able to produce as much stomach acid. And if you're eating a little more right now and you're stressed, you need help to digest your food. My Digest Aid that I created has enzymes that are capable of doing just that. It has both betaine HCL, not just HCL, but an enzyme pepsin that helps your body digest your food, which is really unique. And right now, all of our products are 30% off. Go to ChantelRayWay.com, click on store, and get yours for 30% off. Just use the promo code PODCAST. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Well, if you guys want, go to ChantelRayWay.com slash juice, and you can find out everything you need to know how to get there. But in the meantime, can we tell people how they can find you and how they can follow you? Yes. Uh, yeah. Follow along on our Instagram at the weekly juicery. And we'll be actually starting a brand new channel on Instagram called chasing good health. Um, that's going to be in the next month or so. And obviously, so follow us on the weekly juicery. You'll get connected to that. We also run a free Facebook group called Chasing Good Health. So you can join in and you'll sort of see all the things, um, all the things there. We're going to give you guys a special little promotion to join the juice ritual. So watch for that on your page um, and you can get hooked in with our email and all that sort of stuff. And I'll make sure to get you guys the juice book. And we didn't really talk about this, but four times a year, we do run extended guided fasts. And I hope yes. that you know, some of you guys might want to take advantage of that. Um, in January, March, July, and September, I run an extended guided fast. Uh, the juice will come right to your door. You can choose three days, six days, or nine days. Um, and each day we'll be kind of working together in a virtual classroom because there'll be lots of people doing it all together, which is so much more fun. If you've ever done a long fast and you've done it alone, you know what I mean? It's so much more fun to have lots of people doing it with us as uh, so we had a hundred people in January. So lots of people, our next one's coming up the third week of March. Awesome. Well, I can't wait to do that. And I can't wait to try your juice. I'm so excited because here's the other thing I think people don't realize. It's funny because we, I went to a couple of juice places, me and my husband for our anniversary, we went to DC yeah. and I had, I just always love going to juice bars and getting smoothies and stuff like that. So I tried out a couple of different ones out there. 
And they, they don't really have a lot of places that have the juice without fruit. Almost every one of them, no. there's, there's fruit in every one. And I'm thinking, why don't you have at least a couple that don't have? So it's almost impossible to find. Even if you have a local place here, I'd rather order it and ship it and have one that doesn't have all that fruit. Because again, if you're going to have fruit, just eat it. Fruit's delicious. Right. Eat the fruit. It's it's hard to eat 12 bunches of kale. Like just, you know, because then for me, I love kale and I love a kale salad, but the only way I love it as if I'm putting tons of dressing on it. And then the dressing's got, you know, yeah. either tons of fat or tons of something in it. It's true. And, you know, there's a really good, and I never, I, I never speak about competitors, but I will say there is a really great juice company going on right now, doing lots of franchises. So they're opening lots of locations um, and they're certified organic, which I freaking love because there's not many of us doing that. Mm-hmm. Um, they really do more retail locations. Not only they ship any juice, but the point is there's not one juice on that freaking juice menu that has no fruit. Yeah. Not it's point. insane. And so I, I do understand why people do that because they do want the juice to taste amazing. And they do want to give people an entry point into the work. I kind of come about it a different way. Not everything that you put into your body has to taste amazing. And that's really sort of a big language, but it's true. And when we begin sort of looking at the bottle of juice as more our medicine and sort of like the healing force, then we can get away from this idea that it's got to be loaded up with orange or green apple. Now, now, now that you guys are like, there's no way I'm going to drink this lady's juice. It's going to taste like shit, you know, totally (laughs) bad. That is not true. Um, you know, inside our one day fast or inside kind of the shipment of six, I do include a couple of juices that have a little fruit because I do want to have a pleasurable experience. I don't want people's blood sugar throughout the day to just be completely bottomed out. The exception to that is our extended guided fast. Those only include green juice. And there's some reasons for that, that I will teach during the fast, but um, you will experience some juices that taste amazing, but I also want our, our guided fast participants to learn to love and crave plants. I want to make sure that the return on that $99 investment for them well extends past just their day of juice and that I teach them something and that they that I give them this kind of jumping off point to either get to intermittent fasting or start chasing good health, you know, whatever the case may be. Well, I think one more thing on that line is that I, I don't drink iced tea anymore. I've weaned myself completely off because I've found some of the teas just aren't that good for you. And so I'm just kind of like, I'm just not going to have it. But I used to drink a lot of unsweetened tea. Well, I'm sorry, a lot of sweet tea years and years and years ago. And then I went from having sweet tea, then I moved it to Splenda, and then I moved it all the way to unsweetened tea. And like, I couldn't to this day drink a sweet tea. Like, you know, 20 years ago, I could have a sweet tea, but I, to this day, if you gave me a sweet tea, I couldn't have it. And your body will crave, your body will adjust. Like, why is it that now I can have unsweet tea and love, love it, like it. But, you know, years ago I couldn't, and it goes to that same thing. It's like, okay, you're going to get to the point where you're like, this is too sweet. Like for me, I can't have a sweet juice because I don't, I've trained my body to like vegetable juices. So now if you give me one, that's like, you know, with tons of pineapple and tons of apple, I can't have it. If you give me a little bit, I don't mind it, but I don't like my juices too sweet, but I've trained my body that way. I, it's right. not what it used to be. Right. And now right. I've trained my body in the way it should go. The Bible says train your body in the way it should go. And you know, right. it will land there. So I kind of mess that we up, but you know what that, I mean? We have people inside the juice ritual that say, oh my gosh, Kenny, this green lemonade on the first month they do it, they're like, holy moly, I can't even believe that I've paid for that. You know, it's so hard for me. And then by month four or five, they say, I cannot wait for green lemonade. You know, I can't wait for that feeling. And so, you know, what we found is that our customers, after a couple of three months in the juice ritual, they say, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for juice ritual day. Um, so it's really a fun community of people. Um, if you need a little motivation, and here's the other great thing. I promise you all, you will never deviate too far 
from the Chasing Good Health Path and the health journey that you want to be on if you're inside the Juice Ritual, because every single month, regardless if we've digressed from the path a little bit and made a couple of unhealthy choices, we all do that, right? I'm going to send you six organic juices. You're going to be with our community for one day to either do it as a complete day of fast or do it a little at a time. And when you do that, you're right back on track. Mm, yeah. I'm going to end with this Bible verse. Proverbs 22, six says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. And I believe it's the same thing. It's like train your body in the way you should go. And as you get older, you're not going to depart from it because it's like you're training your body to make these decisions on how to have great health. So this was amazing. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, this has awesome. been wonderful. And um, if you guys have a question that you want answered, go to questions at ChantelRayWay.com. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.